Kenny Lomote delving into the conversation today with a Nigerian global superstar world right so the song that we just watched if you're tuned in the three music tv you watched sas this um features world and it's titled mad if you are listening to us on plus 89.9 fm well like i said this is sas featuring world with the song mad and so world is here with us this morning he's going to you know take us through his life his career his music and then his recently released ep don't get used to this what shouldn't we get used to and what should we get used to let's speak to world hi world you're welcome hey good morning good morning how you say um good morning in in ghana um based on the language okay but well. you can say indi indi is away indi 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 yeah indi nami is good morning to you indi nami yeah <laughs> yeah so um how are you i'm good i'm good, good. i'm good you feels had good to be an early start yeah. I know you guys got me out outside early. Oh, yeah, we are having I, slept. I was out I was out a little bit last night just exploring Ghana, you know. Uh-huh. Having fun. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm having a great time here. Okay. Ghana's always good to me on the low key like mm. I'm here like low key just enjoying, you know. All right. Yeah, we, we 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 get that a lot how, you know, Nigerian um artists or even mm. anybody outside mm. of Ghana, you know, mm. comes in and has a good time in Ghana. So, yeah, yeah. it's always a pleasure to have you people absolutely. here. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But, yeah, for those who don't know who World mm -hmm. is, let's start by um, talking about how um, you grew up and then mm -hmm. how your music career started. Uh, for me, I was born in Lagos, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. my, uh, my music started for me in Atlanta, Georgia, right? Mm -hmm. That's why I started. That's why I went to school. Okay. And um, I've just really, uh, I started doing songwriting for different artists. Um, I started working with um, Akon. Mm -hmm. I was writing for Mario. I was working with B.O.B. Mm. I was working with a lot of like um, hip hop artists like Trinidad James. Mm -hmm. And for me, like, I think like the Afrofusion, the, the journey back home started with my song Show You Off. Okay. Which um, that that came out 2016, 2017. Mm -hmm. That was like the first my first connection back home, because most of the music I was doing prior to that was mostly like hip hop music, right. R and B music, alternative music, mm -hmm. and that song "Show You Off" brought me back home. And look at me now, like I'm here. <laughs> yes, yeah. but w when you say that's your first connection to home, I feel mm -hmm. like I mean Africans still connect with you know hip hop and mm -hmm. R and B and all of that. Mm -hmm. So why would you say that was your first? Because it was it was the first time that like people from back like living in ATL then right. Like people from like Lagos, Ghana, South Africa, like yo, who's this guy? You know what I'm saying? Right. That was the first time. Because prior to that, most of them people probably saw me and they, they didn't even know I was African or Ni they didn't know I was African, but they didn't know I was Nigerian. Mm -hmm. So I think that song was like the first like calling back home. That was what made me start thinking of like let me start let me start visiting back. Because mm -hmm. prior to that, I was going for like 16, 17 years. Right. So it was it was a, it was a, a very interesting change for me. Take us through what the change was mm. um, for you and then also having to, you know, now find your footing in mm. Africa's music industry. The change was almost sudden because I, I left ATL and I moved to L.A. Okay. Um, and I, I was just, I think I was just in need of a different change because I lived in ATL for 16 years, right? Okay. And um, I would wake up and look at my DMs and everyone from like, yo, come to Nigeria, come to Ghana, <laughs> come to this, mm -hmm. you know. And I was like, you know what, let me, I started coming to visit, you know, and um, 2018 started like, you know, doing more P PR in, in, in the region, mm -hmm. started traveling the continent. I st it started changing my perspective of Africa. Right. Because prior to that, I was, like most of my adult life, like I said, was in the U.S. And I just started visiting, just started learning it all over again. Mm -hmm. Before you know it, like I'm spending more time in the continent now, like less time like in the U.S. and Europe. It's, you know, only when I need to go work. So then you go. That's exactly. nice. That's yeah, actually it's a good balance nice. for me. Feeling close to home, it's a great balance for me. That's that's nice. I mean, yeah. now that you feel close to home, um, yeah. the acceptance. How would you say that has been so far? I'm grateful. It's been organic for me. It's been like a lot of organic love, and the people that care about what I do really, really genuinely care. Like they fight for me, you know. Uh -huh. They're like, yo, you know what? Like, world, world should be here. World should be this. Uh -huh. You know, people that really, really listen to to my music really like find a strong connection. And it's not just like a one-time thing. 
they and people can tell like I put a lot of art and like work and time into my art, mm -hmm. my music. Yeah, we can tell. Thank we you. can tell Thank definitely. You. you did blow my mind with um, Davido yeah, and, Chris, that, yeah. and Chris mm -hmm. Brown, right? Yeah. Tell us all about how that happened and then how mm -hmm. the feeling was having um, to be on you know this track with mm -hmm. the two greats. You know what? I, it wasn't planned. To be honest, and I, I was I was in Lagos promoting my project. Love is contagious. Mm -hmm. That's the one we show you off, contagious, mm -hmm. and some other records. Uh, and I got the call from my uh, guy uh, producer Sheezy. Okay. And you know, it was just like it was just one of those things I didn't plan for it because I was going to use the song myself. Oh. Yeah. And, okay. And I, I wanted to get some features on the record, but I was promoting a new project, mm -hmm. and I didn't have time. I didn't have a use for it. blew my mind at the time, and um, you know. DeVito and Chris Brown, it's just like, it's just a beautiful thing to just to lend my art with another artist at the mm -hmm. same time and seeing how well the song is done. Right. You know, we'll great. get to your recently released EP, Don't yeah, Get Used yeah, to This, really yeah. soon. But before that, mm -hmm. how would you say collaborations have mm -hmm. helped um, your career and your brand? You know what? I haven't done too many collaborations mm -hmm. like that. I've done a few. Yeah. Um, and I feel like most of like, the success people have seen from me has been most of the songs that I have in my Quality song. compared to quantity, right? Is yeah, that what exactly. But I mm -hmm. feel like 2024, people, people are going to start seeing me more okay. in like in a more collaborative space. Can you drop? Of, Can you no, drop no, you have to wait. You? Just stay, follow my, my socials. Like, yeah. But we it's going to be coming really soon. Wait patiently and, patiently. and then yeah. keep our fingers crossed. I love the element of surprise because okay. it's like people have not seen me with a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's time. It's I've time. been working so hard on that behind the scenes. I'm excited. Like it's it's this whole different level. Just seeing me with different artists uh -huh. and different range of different artists from time to time. Fingers I think crossed. Be yeah. We, we are patient. I'm excited. Now, so I can't we'll wait. wait. We'll yeah. wait. We will wait. I Absolutely. mean if you can wait, you yeah. can imagine how your fans are feeling. It's, but it's worth, anyway, it's worth world says we should wait. So we will wait. Now world you you and still in in I'm talking about collaborations, mm. right? You and Saz, from where I sit, I can say that you two have a really special relationship. Mm. Um, you have an EP together, mm -hmm. right? It's mm -hmm. just a SaaS and World EP. Mm -hmm. You have songs together. Mm -hmm. On your um, Don't Get Used to This EP, mm -hmm. he is the only feature yeah. on there, right? Mm -hmm. How did this um, friendship or partnership with SaaS start? It started organically. We met in LA when I moved. Okay. And um, when we met, it was instant. We made we made um, the song Trouble immediately, mm -hmm. right? Which became like just like another classic. And right. before you know it, we're creating Ego, we're creating Mad, Sade, and mm -hmm. the whole project. And it's just been organic, like just from one super intentional artist to a very super intentional producer. Mm -hmm. He's a he's an overachiever. I'm an overachiever. He's a perfectionist. I'm a perfectionist in my size. When we come together, like we're constantly pushing sound and sonics and trying to do something that's different from what's happening. Right. right? That's why you get what, what you get from us. Yeah. Because we're constantly, I'm trying to do new melodies, new conversations. Mm -hmm. He's trying to push new sounds, new ways. People are knocking the beats. And so it's always going to be special every time we create music. Yeah. And having him on this project was because I know a lot of people are like, yo, we need another world of size or size and world project. project. Mm -hmm. And we've been working on part two of Our Love Girls with Trouble. Okay. Right, which is another exciting project to come. So yeah. is that going to be a um, I Love Girls with Trouble, trouble two? two? Yeah. Or? yeah okay, yeah. okay. And um, it was just like, this. having him on this project was like, I know you guys have been waiting. Mm -hmm. Help us manage this one. In the meantime, right. you know. Right. Um, he has a project coming as well, as, um, and we have a song together on his project on as there. well. We're just warming people up. And let them so they know how much what they've been yeah, missing, yeah. and they can excite, be excited about what's Well, I'm sure for those who have followed you and your music, they would know that you and Saz, you know, create you know a lot of good songs, especially yeah. with location as well. I mean, for yeah. those who don't know anything Location's about out right now, yeah, it's an am you, amazing song like, about ooh. you and Saz at all. You should know um, World featuring Saz is titled Location, and it's on the Don't Get Used yeah, to Yeah, my this new EP, EP right? Out. This just let's came out like about, three weeks ago. Yeah, let's let's talk about the EP. Um, yeah. how, you know, you, you put your heart and soul into mm. it, how the songs blend nicely into each mm. other. And then I picked one song of there that I want us to talk about, Sarafina. So just tell wow. us about the creation of the EP first, and then we get into Sarafina. So this project is the first project that I actually created completely in Nigeria. Okay. 
most of my other projects, I'm caught between traveling different places. Mm -hmm. And most of all the songs of this project was created in Nigeria. And um, the idea, like I've just been through so much over the years and so much work put mm -hmm. in, right? And I felt this time around, I wanted to like just connect with everyone that's ever interacted with my music. I okay. wanted them to feel the essence of what they felt when they f fell in love with my music. Okay. It's kind of like a full cycle. Okay. So when you listen to this project, if, you, if you've ever loved any of my songs, when you listen to this project, you're just gonna put a smile to your face, like, ah, oh, thank you, world. Yeah. Would you That's say that. this? Would you say this is a, a love project? Yes, it is. It's self love. Okay. It's it's growth. It's self love. It's um, I, I call it don't get used to this because I feel like we have to create several memories throughout a lifetime. So right. every memory we create today becomes something we can't get used to. We have to do create Because new. there's something else that has yeah. to happen. So if, okay. we, if we create the best, uh, most amazing memories today, right? Uh -huh. Tomorrow you have to create it again, another one. Right. Next tomorrow, next year, create new memories. And we have to push each other and challenge each other to keep creating great and new memories. So I'm saying like, as amazing as this project is, as amazing as this time is. You don't get stuck don't in get, it. Don't get stuck and don't get used to this. Right. Don't say, well, give us another don't get used to this project. <laughs> well, give us another show you off. Well, give us another trouble. Mm -hmm. That's what people do all the time. And I say like, I say to people like, that we were in different places when mm -hmm. show you off happened. Mm -hmm. We're in different places when I released Contagious. We were in different places when Blow My Mind happened. Right. So if we're in different places and we've all grown, right? You should expect more growth to you come. should expect something new from world because you've changed as well. Yeah. Don't say give me mad again. Right. Because you're not even in that space anymore. anymore. That was 2019. You've grown as well, so don't 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 hold the artists back. Right. Let's grow together and just keep sharing new memories. So. I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah. I get what you mean. You get totally, it. I understand. Yeah, yeah. So in the creation of um, Sarafina, you mm -hmm. created this with Driz. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right. So just run us through. You know that song. If, is there a, yeah. an actual Sarafina in your life? If not, um, how was the the working process with Driz like? You know what? It's like I've always had a seraphim in my life. I think okay. everybody always has somebody mm. in their lives, right? Let's be honest, you know. And for me, I created this record without an instrumental. It was like one of the one of the times in my career that I actually created a song without an instrumental. I was just humming over like if musicians know what this like metronome, uh -huh. right? It's just like a click. I should check on that. Yeah, click. I literally did the hum humming of the entire song over a click. And I recorded the entire song lyrically mm -hmm. over that. It was later than I got with the producer. Okay, you know, I have this song. Let's put this around it and stuff. It was beautiful. Because most times as a creative, it doesn't really pan out to be a great song because of how raw it is. Yeah. But anyways, it was beautiful just to watch, go through that process. I wanted to put something out there that was edgy, that was fluid, mm -hmm. that was sexy. Uh, for the women, I wanted like the guys to feel great about playing it for somebody special. And I want like the women to listen to this and feel special and feel okay. loved and sexy. So thank you. you we, I mean, on behalf of all women, we want to say thank you to World for, mm -hmm. for doing this for us. Now, World, you champion um, a journal called Afro Soul, yeah. right? Yeah. In this day and time where Afro Beat is what is the in thing now, mm -hmm. how are you thriving and surviving and making a conscious effort mm -hmm. to also just uphold your journal? Honestly, it's just been it's been intentional for me from day one. Um, when I came into the Afrobeat scene, this was 2016. Most of the sound was very, very um, highly rhythmic, mm -hmm. more up tempo dance, mm -hmm. not as lyrical, and that was what made me come into the space because I was like, you know what? What happens when you actually slow down a little bit right. and start putting a lot of lyrics? That's why when you listen to my songs, it's a lot of storytelling in it. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of love in it. A lot of intentions. That's a in flow. It. There's a flow. There's a lot of intentions in the lyrics. And it's still Afrobeats, but slowed down a little bit. It's fast sometimes, mm -hmm. it's rhythmic, but you hear a lot of the intention and the lyrical aspect. So for me, I just continue that journey. Every song is another conversation, it's another vibe. Right. And every song don't sound the same for me. So it's an, every song is an experiment. It's really difficult. Like, like the lane that I'm in is probably like the most difficult because like I stand stand alone in, in the in the space. No, but you know I what really they say alone. about about you know just creating your lane and yeah. shining you know through that lane. Yeah. I think that's what you you've done and you yeah. are doing, and Thank it's, you. it's just Thank beautiful you. to see. Thank you. It's not easy because it's like every song is an experiment. Every song is like creating music that's not out there, mm. and you expect people to follow it. It's like yeah. this is not the frequency that everybody's listening to right now. But for me, what drives me as a as a creative is. I was inspired by artists that do something different. Do you know mm -hmm. that feeling when you sit somewhere and you hear something new? Yeah. 
And yeah. it just, it's like, you've been listening. You know what's so crazy? You're just in the club, you've been listening, okay? You're just vibing, vibing, vibing. You hear that one song, it's just different from you everything else, tell. but it's so well done. Yeah. That feeling, that's what drove me into music. And right. I love giving people that feeling. So right. that's what you're always going to get with my songs. It's like, we are this here is for a new it. world, so yeah. <laughs> we are Absolutely. here for it. Now, you did mention that we should look forward to 2024 and what yeah. you have to bring. I mean, in the projects that you're going to be creating in mm. 2024, are there any Ghanaian artists in there? Absolutely. Absolutely. Name job? No, not yet. No? <laughs> You're not going to get it to me. Not, it. not even our own? You know what? Okay. To be honest, like, I, let's, I think, let's stay connected. You guys follow my social. Okay. This is world. Okay. Let's, let's stay connected because that, that's really what it's about. Okay. Like, you know. Um, I think the element of surprise makes it even more special. Even more special. Even I was hoping special. that you'd be able to drop some, you know, names I know you, you almost got it out of me. Some Ghanaian artists. You but almost got it anyway, out of me. fingers crossed. We are looking mm. forward to it. And then, um, guys, like he said, he's on every, you know, social media platform. Yeah, this is new World. New EPR right now. Everyone is like, yo, where's World? Where's World? Mm -hmm. But I have a new EPR right now. It's titled Don't Get Used to This. Mm -hmm. It's out on all platforms. One of my best works. Like, really, really, you guys go listen to this. I can't wait. Actually, I've not done um, my own show okay. in, in Ghana okay. all these years. Is that going to come? Yeah, it's going to come. When? Next year, for sure. Next year. I'm, okay, I'm working towards it. It's going to be special. You guys haven't really fully experienced me. And I'm, I feel like it's, it's better late than never. I'm looking it's fine. To that. It's, it's really okay. great. It's yeah, really, it's I can't wait okay. to share that. So that best of luck. Yeah. Best Thank of you. luck with that. Thank and you. then we will be here. Fingers crossed. We'll Amazing. Come out Hope to, to, see you there. to support you. Thank I you. will come out to support Amazing. you. So that's very necessary, guys. Um, the world. His name world is spelled W U R L D. So just in case you want to get onto socials to find him, this is world W U R. -L -D. L D. He is a Nigerian musician making global waves. And then also, I like that he says that, you know, we should expect um, some Ghanaian collaborations on his next project, which is really, really nice. To close on unpacking this morning, we are going to play World Song Serafina, which is of his recently released EP, Don't Get Used to This. Okay. Uh, my name is Lenny Lomote, your international TV and radio presenter living in Ghana at the moment. The rest of our programming on Culture Daily continues with Serial on Sports Direct, Silfwa on Trending Life, and then our very big conversation on till 10 a.m. Stick and say bye-bye.